Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Just wanted to take the opportunity. Uh, came up to one of my favorite spots with uh, with a couple friends. I rode the the e bike part of the way up here, and uh, just wanted to see what it would do in the mountains here and get an idea, and then just kind of give you an example, a real world life example of basically how you could use it in the backcountry. So we rode. I would say this is probably, and I'll I'll verify the exact numbers, but I think we're probably about six kilometers but pretty high mountain and I think we're close to 7,300 feet, but I'm, I'm going to verify that. And if I'm wrong in any, in any, in any of the numbers, I'll make sure that it's in the, um, I'll, I'll put that in there. But, um, in that time frame, I was able to get up here and I've got two batteries. They're 52 volts. They're a total of 35 amp hour each. I started at hundred percent battery capacity and I was down to 86%. So that means I use 14% battery capacity. The cool thing is, this is, and I'm not going to tell you where it is because this is one of my favorite fishing holes at the base of that mountain there. This just goes to show you could get to your favorite camping spot. You can get out there, leave your bike where it's at. It's basically going to extend your range, have one of our solar blankets, and you can, depending on how, what the distance is, I know with my batteries, I can charge depending on, because we've got a bit of cloud coming uh, coming in, but in really good sun, this, this, um, with a 300 watt solar blanket, we're, we're powering about 18% of the battery per hour with the 220 watt solar blanket, which I have in the bag right here. That's this guy right here. And by the way, the 220 and the 300 watt solar blankets, they each fit in the pannier bags that go on the side. So you can easily have a lot of space for um, like your, your solar blankets, the charge kit, the cables that we provide as well your lunch, your fishing gear, your rain gear, whatever you need to bring. But um, like I said, with these, what I've calculated, it's about, with our batteries, it's about 14 to 18% battery capacity per hour. So that really extends your range because this e-bike, now we're not gonna get 140 miles here, but a lot of people are talking about in Pedal Assist 1. I used, I had to use Pedal Assist 9 to get up the steeps here, but in Pedal Assist 1, people are getting 140 miles plus. So not kilometers, miles. So that's actually really impressive with this bike. But this gives you a really good idea you can get to beautiful places like this. You can leave the solar blanket out um, in an area that you believe is safe. And just when you're done fishing or you're camping or you're hiking or bird watching or, or whatever it is that you're doing, you can come back to enough battery capacity where you've really extended your range and you can go a, a greater distance just to, you know, increase the time out in mother nature because everybody wants to get away from the city and enjoy things like this. Uh, the other thing I want to mention and in a moment, um, the camera will come over here, but we have uh, different charge kits. So we have a 300 and a 220 watt solar blanket option. However, with those, we have the ability to charge 48 volt, 52, 60 and 72 volt e-bike batteries. So even some of the, um, and I'll put it in the description, some of the, uh, the e-bike motorcycles that are out there right now, I'm just working with a customer on it. We just have to, the correct connectors coming and then we'll have that available for that. He's got a 60 and a 72 volt battery. This is 52 on this one. Uh, we're able to actually charge it with one, one solar charge controller, which is this guy right here. But if you want to come over with the camera, I'm going to show you these. We offer a Jenison option which is basically, they're, this is USA made, very good quality. So we offer one for the uh, 220 watt solar blanket and one for the 300 watt solar blanket. So I've got both of them right here. And then we do have a programmable Elejoy. So let me just, I'll pop around here. It's gonna take my glasses off so I can see. I know you're not gonna be able to see with the camera, uh, but I'll do the math on it. I've got 58. 3 volts and 3.39 amps going in. You're not going to be able to see because of the refresh rate. But that's, I believe, we're just over around 200 watts of solar going in. Which is really good because we are at pretty much 2 p.m. right now. So where we are in Canada at 51 degrees north latitude, it's the sun's not at the highest peak for us right now. So that's closer to about 1230-ish is what it is. So that's actually really good solar that we're getting right now. But... Uh, yeah, no, if you want to, um, if, if you want to use our solar blankets to extend your range so you can have adventures like this, why not? 
And like I said, I just wanted to take the opportunity. We were coming up here. I wanted to show you one of, one of my places that I consider heaven on earth. Um, yeah, but other than that, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we do have everything in stock. The Jenison controllers we're going to have in just under a week. We'll have those available for both 48 and 52 volt models. And then we have the Elojoy, which is this guy right here. This one's programmable. And by the way, when I say programmable, it takes about 10 seconds, 5, 10 seconds. It's quite easy to do. So you can go from a 52 to a 60 to a 72 volt battery with this. If you have multiple batteries uh, for e-bikes, which some people do have. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, yeah, enjoy the view. This is pretty phenomenal. Now we're up here and I'm actually really impressed. I was wondering if we, we'd make it to, because uh, it, was, it was quite steep getting up here and, and quite bumpy the road. Okay, we'll talk to you uh, soon, guys. And by the way, uh, feel free to like and subscribe to our videos. As you can tell, I don't read from a script. I just, I want to give you the meat and the potatoes. I don't want to give you all the fluff. To me, that's just a, a waste of time. And I want to show you how we use our product, which is pretty much how most of our customers use it. Um, oh, and I just want to mention this as well, too. Not only is this a bike for for uh, for great adventures, and I will have um, um, the owner of eCells, David, he actually gave us a, a coupon code for $100 off. So if you're interested in one of their bikes, we did our research on the bikes. To me, this is one of the best bangs for the buck or bang for the buck for what they offer. Just the components, uh, they offer rock shocks front and back. The, uh, the rotors for the brakes are 203 mils. Most, on most e-bikes, it's 160 to 180. The fact, two 750 watt motors and I had no issue getting up these steeps. That was pretty impressive. Um, but like I said, these, these are phenomenal bikes and they have different variations. I went with a dual motor one, an all-wheel drive specifically because I knew I would use it coming to places like this. If it was just one motor, you might spin out, especially on the, that loose scree or gravel if coming up the, the hills. But like I said, I'll have a coupon code for this. Please like and subscribe to our videos. Any questions, if you want a custom package, uh, reach out. I, uh, we talk to people daily and I, I'd be more than happy to help you. Oh, and before I forget, regarding our solar blankets, these e-bike kits you can buy additional cables that we offer. You can use these also with portable power stations. If you want to, um, let's say, like if you want to pan around and, and so the, show the forerunner there, uh, let's say if you wanted to, um, you wanted to power, if you have an overland setup, 